Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a two-parter. It is for Documenting December and then also I am part of the telephone game for the YouTube Hop from The Secret Not Secret and that is the sketch that I got. So if you guys don't know, I have now done this a third time in a row and it's the telephone game. It's like that big old thing that we used to do back in the day where we would tell somebody and then you go to the next and the next and the next and then the very last person would tell you what the first person said. Yeah, so this is what it is. And as I am editing this, I have watched now up to four, one, two, three, no, three videos. Because I waited, I did it and then I wait to edit it until it gets closer to the actual time of it going up. So it makes it a little bit easier for me to know who's in front of me, who's going to be next and, and all of this type of jazz. So as I'm editing this, this is the second to the last person. So the person that I got it from is Daisy Scraps and she did a non Christmas layout and because I am finishing up my December daily stuff and wanting to get all of this done and this is going up in the first part of January, it is all about December daily. I want to get all of that done. So I took it back to Christmas, which is completely fine. Now, as I was watching at least three of the videos that went up, I noticed that um, it drastically changed and now I realize how it got to the way it does now. Because when I first saw the very first layout on the first um, for the first person of this hop, I was like, what in the world? How did we get to what I am doing? And then I realized the second person changed it. And I'm just like, that is crazy on how this game does this. This game is, it took one person. It was, it didn't even, it didn't even make it to second or third person. It literally changed in the second person. So I thought that that was kind of fun, funny and cute all at the same time, I guess. But I just wanted to, um, I thought it was just kind of funny. So I have the playlist linked down below to everybody's, um, Layout. So if you came to mine and this is up and this is the first time you've got to this, you may want to stop, go back through everybody, or finish out, go to Amy um, over at Scrapping Amy. She is the last person in this. See what hers was and then go back to the very beginning to see how it trans um, transformed into what I am doing today. So there was two big strips that went down the paper and I did do that and I did um, do the layering piece that was in the cut file as well or I mean in the layout that I got as well. So pretty much a lot of what Daisy does, her layouts are a lot like my layouts. I love her style. She's always been one of my, um, like one of my YouTube people that I subscribe to and watch I watch all her videos because her inspirations are a lot like my inspirations and I just love watching her style so I can't wait to um, see this video obviously this video is going up after her so I will obviously have already seen it but as I'm editing this I have not so I can't wait to see how she does hers now I do, like I said, I did do it. I did do the border piece. I did do the main piece. I did do the strips. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Now I am not a doily person, so I don't have that many doilies in my household, in my scrappy space at all. So I had to kind of change it up just a little bit, but I still kept to the the lay what the layout looks like. I just don't have any. Um, I just don't have any doilies, so I changed it where I added a couple extra pieces of of paper to kind of offset the fact that I do not have that doily in there. And I do put the tags in there, and my title is pretty much in the same spot. I just did my embellishments in a little bit different of a fashion because I don't have that big that major um, focal point, which is the um, doily that she has so I did it just a little bit different so here's where I added a couple extra pieces of paper because I really really love how this turned out I wanted to add the pops of blues so all of this layout is greens and blues and then my layering pieces behind my photos are the red and I wanted it to be um, in that fashion because the background to this is a bunch of ferns or spruce pieces of 
Christmas trees. And the photos are Christmas lights. They are, there's a spot in Evans where I live. Um, one of the towns has this cool Evans Town Center is what it's called. And I absolutely, positively love it. Um, they have tons of stuff there and tons of things to do. And just, I just love the area. So, um, we went and did the Christmas lights there because we weren't able to go out and do the lights of the south this particular year because it just kept raining and raining and raining and raining and I just was like I ain't going out there because it's just going to be a muddy mess well this obviously too was a muddy mess but it wasn't as bad because at least they had sidewalks to walk on a little bit more so I found these Christmas trees to take photos by so one picture is of Josh and I, and then the other photo is of Austin and KJ or Austin and Kaylin um, taken by the same tree. So I added, and it's lights essentially. So it is the lights, and I love that I added all these Christmas trees and all these little things. Now I didn't do like the tag tags and the string through them. I left the string off of mine, and I did. Um, this is the collection from Merry Days which is crepe paper from last year, last year's. And so what I did was is that they had a tag in there that had um, pinks and kind of pinks and greens and that matched. And then there was a tag in there of a house. And I added that in there just to add, I don't know, something a little different to it because it matches. The colors matched. It worked well in that spot. So I put it on there. And then I do get out, the only thing I have left of... This one, which is the Snow and Cocoa from Crepe Paper, which was, it came out two times in a row. Um, I just have that sticker and then the wood pieces left. And so I've been trying to incorporate those two pieces into the Merry Days and the snowflakes that have come out. Because even though that that collection is a lot more pastels and stuff, but there is pastel colors in these two collections that Crepe Paper has come out with that I bring those colors out when you actually look at it completely. Obviously everything is at the end, the still shots are at the end um, as well. So you can see how I was able to pull in those colors into this collection, even though that these two collections, I am telling you, Snow and Cocoa, Merry Days and, Merry Days and Snowflakes match really, really well together. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but then when you bring in Snow and Cocoa, the soft pastel colors of that one, they are very different, but they're very similar too. So here I am, I'm just embellishing. Now I will tell you this, this takes, um, like it takes me forever to get this done. I had to sped this up to almost five times because of me do, do diddle daddling around on what I want for my embellishment clusters. Now, the one thing that Daisy is more simple on is the embellishments where I'm more heavy based. So that's what took me a long time to do. And then, you know, just little things. Here I am, I'm adding my title. That little word that I'm working on right now is winter. And then right below that one, I think it's on that um, snow and cocoa sticker is Wonderland. And I thought, you know what, it's perfect. Winter Wonderland, um, we don't get snow. So I have to make things look like we have snow. And this is why, you know, it's during the winter. It's Christmas lights. We're by a white tree. So it doesn't really look um, like Christmassy colors. So that's why I went with the title of Winter Wonderland. Now, I am going through a bunch of this other stuff and getting it done. I do add those two little, the boy and the girl, onto the side. And I took away that other... One, because it don't make it. It, it. it just doesn't match what I wanted it to do. And then here I am. I'm placing down the win the winter. I pop that up on some foam tape. And they're just little circle dots. I know that they're kind of hard to see, at least while I'm doing this voiceover. But it does say winter, so I'm hoping that you can see what I'm working with. And then I do add little bits of things that say, like, light, where it says it's cold outside, but I've got hot cocoa and my fuzzy gloves. And it was a colder night. It was a lot colder last year than it is this year. And this is where I'm putting down the winter one, the wonderland part of it right there. And then I do add some snowflakes in here. And then I do off camera 
add some sequins as well. Um, it's in my stash. I have a little bin that you can see. It's that mint little bin there, and that's got all of my Christmas type stuff of like dots and enamel dots and twine and sequence mix and all that and I do like I said I do do it off camera I don't add any uh, mixed media to this one it's just strictly paper and embellishments so make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel I am super duper close to my 2000 subscriber giveaway I would love to have you also make sure that you go back through the hop that'll be linked down below and then step in tomorrow to see Scrapping Amy's and the still shots are coming up. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye!